Nickelodeon Our World is partnering with the Natural History Museum of Los Angeles County to learn all about the science of SpongeBob. Let's talk about Plankton. <laughs> you know him. I'm a kleptomaniac. You hate him. No one asked you. But did you know Sheldon Plankton isn't the only type of plankton out there? You're exactly right. There's lots of different kinds of plankton out there. Victory, thy name is Plankton! So Plankton with a capital P is the name of the character. Plankton with a lowercase p are organisms that live in the ocean, copepods. And plankton are not so much a thing that is, it's a thing you do. It's a lifestyle. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. One of the things that's particularly cool about plankton is that for some organisms, they're plankton only for part of their life. Huh? Patrick Starr, for example, began his life as a tiny, tiny little plankton floating around, and then settled out and became the Patrick that we know and love. The inner machinations of my mind are an enigma. So plankton are most the most important organisms on the planet, and they are really the heroes of the ocean. With our combined might, we shall conquer the world! <laughs> they are the organisms that Photosynthesize. Photosynthesis. Turn light into carbon. Small crustaceans eat those plankton. Plankton eat plankton. What the particle is going on here? Those small crustaceans are plankton themselves that get eaten by tiny, tiny fish, then eaten by bigger fish that are able to swim fast enough. They don't qualify as plankton. And eventually you get to things like tuna fish. I like! But I thought plankton enjoyed eating Krabby Patties. No, real life plankton do not eat Krabby Patties. I'm saving my appetite for some popcorn at the movies. And no, that lifestyle of a plankton is not stealing the secret formula. <sighs> Suit yourself. Check back in for more Science of SpongeBob brought to you by the Natural History Museum of Los Angeles County and Nickelodeon Our World.